hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson so this is Rohit and today i'm going to show you how to work on the visual file and how to convert this visual file to upper our apex class okay and uh, let's get started without any further delay so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel and here you can see before starting these things first of all we have to learn visual what is visual so visual is nothing but it's a um, web services definition language okay so it's a kind of a xml format and describing network services as a set of endpoints uh, operating on the messaging and also like containing either a document oriented or procedure oriented information so it's a based on the xml format and this is visual very most important for our integration part so if you want to consume external system or external services or external web services into our salesforce environment so you can use visual file okay so this is the traditional things but you can use right now in the rest api so you can work accordingly so now you can see like consuming external web services in apex okay so one of the feature we we have in salesforce is that we can easily consume external web services okay so this is the way and we will learn these all things under the salesforce how to use this visual and how many types of visual we have okay so here first of all we have to understand these points so how to navigate and how to find out this visual so here in num uh, number one point here you can see like in this application from the setup and enter the apex class in the quick find and you can find out the selected apex class and then click generate from uh, visual okay so if you have the visual file so you can generate your apex class from the visual this navigation with the help of this navigation and click browse to navigate to the visual document on your local hard disk drive or network or type of in the full path in the visual the visual document is the basic of for the apex class you are creating so this is the some is a small introduction about the visual file and you can work accordingly right so let's get started with salesforce with practical and please watch this video until end because it's a very most important for us if you are learning or if you are have some knowledge about the integration so you can learn these all things right so let me open my org first of all here so i just open my google chrome and enter here this url that is called login.salesforce.com this is the production url as you know very well and you can log in any org as you have so let me enter my password here and once you enter the password so here you can see i successfully logged in in the salesforce environment okay so as you know very well here in the setup you can find out everything related our salesforce configuration part or customization based on our need okay so now under the quick find so first of all you have to search like api once you search api here in the uh, this segment that is called integration segment you can see the api right just you have to click on this api and once you click on this api now you will be see different kind of like visuals right so here in the api visual you can see the salesforce visual allows to easy integrate salesforce with your application and to the build a new application the work of the salesforce and to get start download the visual file to the place accessible in your your development environment or additional documents please visit this uh, link here as well so we have different kinds of visual and basically uh, visual uh, basically used for the integration part okay so now you can see types visual and certification so first is a enterprise visual and partner visual and apex visual met metadata visual tooling visual and we have another visual that is called delegate authentication visual and client certificate so for now i am uh, talking about only this enterprise visual so you can down, uh, download from here as well so visual is a collection of the like xml uh, files and this xml file contain different types of members and its types you will be see i will show you here 
uh, after some time so based on your requirement so you can download enterprise digital partner digital okay based on your need so if you don't know about the difference between par partner digital and enterprise digital i will create one video for on that so don't worry about that okay so just click on this part that is called generate enterprise digital here just click on this enterprise digital and here you will be see one xml file in this browser window this is a new tab is automatic opened by the salesforce and now you can see here you will be see some uh, processing about the visual so it's taking some time to convert our visual file in this area so now you can see the xml file does not appear to have any style information associated with in within it the documents tree will showing below so it taking some time and you will be see the code here so now you can see my visual code here and you will learn like salesforce.com enterprise web services api version right now we are using 54.0 latest api version and generated uh, date and generated time you can see here and copyright you can see the salesforce.com inc and it's all right reserved and now you will be see the xml format and this is the xml format is a universal format you can consume this xml format and xml file anywhere anytime any place any system because it's a universal format to communicate different types of systems right so now you can see this is the xml format here you can see so how to download this file so th this is the maybe like uh, uh, one point something mb or based on your enterprise size so it's having this size here right so how to save that so you can save directly like control s once you press this control s so it's asking like visual.xml so uh, here now you can see here let me do that one thing for you so now here just focus on that right so here like uh, uh, visual.jsp.xml now you can see the xml file so you can save based on your need so let me save here in the download folder i want to save it so now you can see one visual file is automatic saved here now you can see like visual.jsp.xml right so how to open that so you can open here let's say open file and open folder based on your need so you can open so same thing you can see uh, in any editor as you want because i already installed some extension so it's a automatic format your xml look like this because this file also having this kind of codes so no need worry about to open every editor based on your need so you can modify otherwise leave it as it is okay so now you can see here my visual is and now it's time to consume and it's time to create our apex class from this visual file so how to do that same thing so here under the quick find you have to search your uh, apex class here so under the quick find you will be see like apex class something like that so just click on this apex class and now you can see here different kind of options one is developer console new generate from visual run all tests set developx so if you don't know about these all options so you can watch my development video and you can learn these all things how, how to use these all options right so let me explain again here so developer console if you want to open developer console so this is a kind of an id integrated development environment and you can work accordingly now if you want to create any new apex class so you can create with the help of this new button and if you want to create your apex class with the help of visual file so this is the our options okay in this session you can see this button here generate from visual and if you have some test classes re regarding this uh, uh, class or maybe another class so you can run your test like unit testing and here you can schedule your apex class as well for a specific time period okay so just you, just you have to create uh, click on this generate from visual just click on this generate from visual and now it's asking some files choose your file so we already downloaded like visual file so now we have to consume here so select a visual documents from your network file system and the visual document can be at most 1 mb please keep in your mind this is the some limitation under in it when the document is parsed each name space become an apex class is a automatic create the apex class so how to do that let me choose the file first of all and under here downloads now you can see the visual so let me click on this visual now you can see the visual here like visual.jsp.xml right click on this parse uh, visual here 
once you click on this parts with dull so it's going some processing behind the scene and it will be showing like some apex class automatic generated now you have to click on this generate apex code so let me click on this apex code here now you will be see two files here one is the successfully uh, generated here one is soft source uh, like as force com something like that and I think so so and just you have to click on done and you will be see your uh, like apex class created uh, created from like visual file to the apex class now you can see two classes is automatic created with the help of visual so you can create and you can uh, see this file as well just click on this soft as force here and now you will be see your uh, apex class let me show you here like this is the main class under this main class we have another class that is called wrapper class these all wrapper class and wrapper class basically used for this particular things like uh, if you want to access inner things like uh, one other one after the other so you can use the wrapper class and you can access with the help of dot notation these all data members under in it now you can see this all wrapper class here in a same class right so based on your need so you can convert this one so guys i hope you learn something new if you learn something new so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and till then bye bye take care see ya